March 17th. If you're getting this, then um, then we've uh, we've reached a critical moment, haven't we? And uh, things haven't turned out the way uh, well, <laughs> the way we wanted them to. Um, I'm I'm waiting it out alone up here. Uh, I don't want to send anything identifying for obvious reasons, but um, remember that old guy. I've, uh, I've, I've been sitting in front of this telescope um, for what seems like an eternity, just, uh, just looking out, just uh, far out um, into the distance. I think, I think, hoping that he might at some moment or any moment just appear like a magic trick, but um, I don't, time goes on. And uh, I'm still alone. Um, maybe you're not coming. Maybe no one's coming. Um, but uh, yeah, I wonder if that's it. I, I, I wonder if it was all for naught. I know you hated that. Just say all for nothing. But all for naught is a more beautiful phrase, poetic. And I guess these are poetic times. But if this is it, if, um, if this is really it, then, um, then what do we leave behind? An account? An account? A brief, an abbreviated account of, of our time on Earth. Mm. I liked my coffee black and strong, like a normal person. You loved horchata lattes. I, I didn't, I didn't understand them at first, but uh, I mean, I grew to love them, just as I, I grew to love you. Uh, you read uh, Ocean Vuong, um, Roxane Gay, James Baldwin, and admitted that you loved Donna Tartt and Brett Easton Ellis, but you didn't want people to know. Uh, you said that Juno Diaz was the first time that you felt seen. I remember that. Um, it was revealing. Maybe more about me than about you. I shared oh, Henry James and D.H. Lawrence and Charles Dickens while you just rolled your eyes at me over and over again. Um, but then we finally we agreed on Raymond Chandler. <laughs> Raymond Chandler, one of life's great pleasures, in the bath with a with a drink to hand. There was, um, there was the time that you brought me home. We saw Salinas and, and Gilroy Monterey um, while we battled through Steinbeck. <laughs> and you, you forced me to the beach. I was terrified of the water, of the underneath. Um, little realizing that the more terrifying things were already among us. You, uh, you taught me to to love the sunrise, but I got you to love a sunset. We danced a lot to British New Wave, if you can call that dancing. Um, there was a lot of, lot of jumping up and down, there was a lot of sweating. And you told me, you told me that you never listened to the lyrics, it was the sound that moved you. <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I, I love the words. There's that poetry again. Before I met you, I couldn't sleep because I was afraid of being alone. Um, when I met you, I slept better. Although you 
you always hogged the bed, you moved into the middle. You said that the bed sloped inward. Which is funny because it only ever seemed to happen to you. Um, I slept well for a while. And then I stopped sleeping well because I was afraid that something would happen to you in the night. Then there were our friends, That's Joy, Julie, Cleo and Alex, Jeff and Chris, Caroline, Rob, Corey. Cause it didn't make sense. An extrovert and an introvert getting together, but one by one, we built a family, a, um, a community, a small universe. We were we were planets in orbit. Now, now look at us. Broken apart. You know, maybe, maybe this happening is a good thing. This, 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 this thing we're in. Because we, we always argued about where we should live. You wanted a beach house, I wanted a loft, you wanted quiet, I wanted noise, and then we finally settled on this country house, and... I'm sorry that I wasn't here more. <laughs> but I'm here now. Waiting for you. Do you remember the story of Pandora? Which, of course, you do because we argued for days. Um, Zeus created her to punish humans. <laughs> and he uh, gave her a box full of gifts, at least so he said. But she wasn't supposed to open the box. But, of course, Pandora, being, uh, being curious, did. And all these terrible things came flying out. Pandora slammed the box shut as quickly as possible, trapping the last gift inside. Hope. I, I always thought that was fucked up and sad because humans need hope. Humans need hope to survive, to, to, to move to something better. But you thought hope was a bad thing. You thought it kept us locked in bad circumstance. It kept us trapped. Uh, I think, I think that was the moment I first saw you. Because I, I thought it was darkness at first, but then... I don't know. I, don't know. I thought it was strength. <sighs> if this is what we're leaving behind, I hope... I hope at least it's something... Um, I mean, not maybe... maybe not for... for for them, but for me, it was everything. It was everything. And I... Hello? Hello? Who's that? Is that you? Is that you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no.